Hello everyone, this is uh, Joseph, chief editor of uh, Livin uh, magazine. We are on uh, Livin uh, TV. And uh, today with our special contributor, uh, Katerina Han. Welcome, Katerina. Thank you, Joseph, for having me. Our pleasure, Katerina. Katerina is our special contributor for uh, China and the Chinese uh, community, also influencer, writer, and author of an upcoming uh, book. And uh, in uh, particular, uh, this segment is about the uh, role of uh, media mm -hmm. in this uh, coronavirus uh, crisis, because mm -hmm. what we have seen is actually working in the media is actually mm -hmm. very uh, disappointing, because uh, we all know what's going on with the media, uh, the, the bias, uh, the uh, taking sides, mm. the controversies, but usually when there is a humanitarian crisis, mm. we put everything else aside mm. and we try to work in a constructive way. Unfortunately, yeah. we haven't seen this in media, even with the comparison of the recent, the recent crisis in, in Australia, <coughs> the media here instead mm. uh, apparently just took the chance to uh, mm. keep pushing on their own uh, narrative, so they mm. throw uh, politics, uh, they throw uh, other controversies mm. uh, on the table, mm. Instead of actually uh, providing information about the crisis, also in terms of public service, mm. and instead, um, if some cases we even had a misinformation or, mm. or, or, or misrepresentation mm. of events, and this is particularly dangerous in times like this. Yeah, I mean, uh, for me, it's kind of obvious to um, to uh, point that uh, you at uh, media. It almost seems like they use this opportunity again uh, as an excuse to um, to talk about uh, the same old uh, their take uh, their narrative uh, their uh, their view about uh, what's happening in china uh, the, like uh, in terms of chinese government or uh, human right or it, but, but those is not really what is really important here is really a, a crisis a public health crisis also a humanitarian crisis um, so I wish media could be more, you know, um, turn their angle to talk about what really matters for human beings rather than, you know, what I just yeah. mentioned. And also the, the fact that uh, really about the objective fact, about mm -hmm. uh, uh, giving uh, an idea of what actually happened or how happened in, instead was mm -hmm. more a blaming uh, game, basically, yeah. trying yeah. to uh, point the finger and uh, and and also not giving the right magnitude of this event. Of course, this is a developing situation. Uh, we not, nothing is set on on uh, on, uh, on stone. But just going over uh, the numbers of other mm -hmm. uh, health crises, we mm -hmm. saw that when it comes to SARS, uh, we had uh, almost a eighty five hundred uh, cases with uh, eight hundred uh, deaths almost. Mm -hmm. But compared to other uh, crises like the uh, uh, famous uh, swine flu, mm -hmm. where we had almost uh, a million and uh, 500,000 uh, uh, people uh, affected uh, cases and almost 290,000 uh, casualties. Mm -hmm. So w numbers that are uh, massive are incredible. Mm -hmm. And and we didn't hear mm -hmm. <laughs> for the swine flu what we are hearing here for the coronavirus. Yeah, um, the, from the research we just uh, uh, quickly uh, to prepare for this segment, um, basically it uh, appears that if you're in the U.S. or in many places out of, outside of China, your risk of catching flu is actually much higher than catching yeah, and the, dying of flu. Yeah, catching the uh, coronavirus. Yeah. Yeah. So just to give you a number, consider that uh, in 2018 the seasonal flu mm. caused eighty thousand deaths. Mm, mm. Eighty thousand. The, wow. the the regular flu. And uh, admittedly, doctors, uh, the, the, the medical society, didn't have an effective uh, vaccine for that. Mm. So, but nobody spread pandemia, nobody spread mm. panic, right, uh, right. No, nobody was blaming uh, God knows who mm. uh, because this flu uh, started. And we're talking about uh, already mm. uh, dozens of thousands of, of victims, victims. So, in these times, mm. if uh, media don't play their role, is uh, particularly dangerous. Mm. And uh, we wanted to uh, point this out. Uh, because instead, mm. uh, media can play a very important role in terms also of... Also positive. What about positive? Positive, exactly. Yeah. In terms of uh, uh, support, in terms yeah. of pointing out what kind of supplies uh, mm. China need. Mm. Uh, China was able to build mm. a hospital basically in three days. Uh, well, uh, yeah. a few Not, days. A few, few days, days for a of 1,000 um, beds. Yeah. Exactly. 
So uh, uh, hopefully you like this uh, video. So please uh, subscribe our channel, uh, share this video, uh, turn on uh, notifications, and uh, stay tuned for uh, more insight about this uh, crisis. Uh, Katarina, thanks again for joining us. Thank you for having me, Joseph. Thank you.